The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number twelve, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August fourth, nineteen seventy four, in Brindavan, India. Kankanta Karmanam Siddhi Jajantya Yadevata Chitpram hi manuse loke siddhi bhavati karmaja. Generally, people are karmaja. Karmaja means one who wants to enjoy the fruit of his labor. Everyone in this material world they have come to enjoy. So, uh, therefore they are working so hard. Uh, we have seen in big, big cities, especially in the Western world, uh, they are uh, working very, very hard. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that Nunang Pramatta Kurute Vikarma. Nunang Pramatta Kurute Vikarma. Jat Indriya Pritae Aprinoti. Nasadu Manne Jatvat Manayam. Kleshada. Asanapi klesade asadeha. People do not understand that because we have got this material body, these sufferings are there. We are uh, spirit, aham brahmasmi. We are all spirit soul. Uh, but somehow or other, otherwise we have contacted this material world and we are bound up by our karma or poetry, result of poetry activities and the result is this body. Karmana daivanatrena jantar deha upapatti. We work in a certain way in contamination with the modes of material nature and we get different types of body. These are explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Why there are different types of body? Now we are sitting, say, one hundred men here. We have got different types of body. Not that everyone's body of the same type. Why? Why the scientists cannot reply this? But Bhagavad Gita replies. What is the reply? The reply is Karanam Guna Sangha Asya Sadasa Joni Janmasu. We have got different types of body from different types of mother. So karanam guna sangha asya, mother means joni, and father means bija. Jatha jani, jatha bija. Our birth is uh, uh, taking place according to the mother and the father. Yathāvījaṁ, yathāvījaṁ. So, we are getting different types of body, human body or animal body or demigod body. This is due to kāraṇaṁ. What is the reason? Kāraṇaṁ guna saṅgaśa. Uh, we are associating with different modes of material nature. 
by our karma activities. Therefore, there are division of karma. Chatut varnang maya system guna karma vibhav. That is also creation of God. Chatut varnang guna karma. It is very subtle subject matter. According to guna and karma, we are getting uh, bodies and we are preparing also next body according to this guna and karma. So, if we change our guna and karma, then we can again regain our spiritual body. This is the process. Uh, guna, uh, and the Bhagavad Gita it is also advised, Trijuna Vishayabhida Nistrijuna Bhavali. We have to transcend the gunas, the infection of these material qualities. Uh, it is naturally happening. Uh, God's, uh, uh, I mean to say, machine is so perfect that uh, it is automatically taking place. Prasa Shakti Vividaiva Sriyati Shakti, God's energy, Krishna's energy is so perfect that it is automatically uh, being done. We have got some experience nowadays. The pilot is sitting in front of the airplane and there are very fine electronic machines and he is pushing one button. Immediately the wings is working and it is going down. It is, it is very in a delicate position in the air, a little mistake in the pushing of the bottom, the whole plane may be crashed. So, nowadays scientists, uh, they have invented so many fine machineries uh, that it is working very nice. Uh, we came from London to Bombay in eight hours. Uh, so this is very nice. But at the same time, we should appreciate the, how much nice machinery are there which is conducting the whole cosmic activities. So that is stated in the Vedas that parasya shakti vividhaiva sviyati sabhaviti jnana balakriyat. Krishna's knowledge is so perfect Krishna says, Maya Dhaksena Prakriti Suyati Satcharasaram, this nature's work is going on not physically, but under the guidance of pushing the button of Krishna, by Krishna. It is not that any scientist can understand that no machine, however nicely made, finely made, without pushing the button. It cannot work. So the huge machinery of the cosmic manifestation, which is working so nicely and perfectly, perfectly uh, our Dr. Sarudhamadar has mentioned in his book very nicely, so, there must be some brain all big, big science, even Professor Einstein, he also admitted. So there is brain. That brain is Krishna. Oh. The brain is Krishna. So people are working, in the previous verse we have discussed, je dathāmāṁ prapadyante tāṁ sutaiva bhajāmaṁ Krishna is the Supreme Father, is very loving Father. So He has given freedom to His sons. We are all sons. 
ममीवांश जीव भूत अहम बीज पद पिता कृष्ण से आई एम दीज पद पिता मेटीरियल नेचर इज मार ममोजनी महत ब्रह्म अहंग बीज पद पिता सो दरिजिनल फादर इज कृष्ण एंड मादर इज दिस मेटीरियल नेचर सो आई एम दि सोल स्पिरिट सोल वेरी माइन्यूट पोजिशन माइ माइ मैग्निच्यूड इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल दैट इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन दास्त्र ईशाग्र शतवाद से शतधा कल्पित वन टेन थाउजेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चीप ऑफ द एयर दैट इज माइ मैग्निच्यूड सो दैट बीज दैट स्पिरिचुअल स्पार्क इज गिवन बाय कृष्णा एंड द मेटीरियल नेचर किती अपन और बाय उखंग मनोबुद्धि रही वो चो दिस बॉडी इज इन दिस वे वी हैव गॉट सो बिकॉज वी आर नाउ इन द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड वी हैव गॉट द प्रोपेन्सिटी टू एंजॉय टू एक्सप्लॉय द रिसोर्स ऑफ मेटीरियल नेचर Krishna has given us this opportunity. Therefore, he said in the previous verse that these are thaman prabodhans. If you want, because material nature is also Krishna or Krishna's energy, not Krishna, Krishna and Krishna's energy. There is no difference uh, that I have explained last night. That is the fire and heat. That is a same quality. Uh, in the heat there is warmth, and the fire there is warmth. Still, the heat is not the fire. This is called inconceivable, simultaneously, simultaneously one and different. This is perfect love. Everything is one with the supreme. And at the same time, it is different. This is perfect philosophy given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Achinta Bhida Vet Tattva. So here, uh, in this material world, uh, people are trying to enjoy. Uh, therefore, Krishna says, "Tankhantya Karmanan Siddhi." Everyone is working very hard. Any business is doing. He is praying, oh, "My Lord, give me the opportunity that I may get success in my business." The king is giving. Uh, that is also very nice. If a person desiring some material profit, uh, remembering Krishna, that is also welcome. Welcome, uh, because he is not atheist. Atheist class man, uh, even for material success, they do not pray to God. Uh, but atheist class, one who has got uh, background, pious activities, he is called atheist. Impious, sinful activities, or sinful man. Cannot remember even God. Naman duskitina murha prabodhante naradhama. Jisam antagatam papam jananam punna karma. So to remember even God, even go to God in temple or mosque or church and pray to God, give me this benefit. Just like Christian way of worshiping is. O oh God, give us our daily bread. Uh, uh, Hindus also go to temple and pray to God uh, that give me uh, some profit. I am very poor man. Uh, so Krishna says that is also welcome. So to be la bhajante mang sukriti na arjuna, ato vidya 
हाथ अर्थात ही यस आत्मा जिज्ञासु ज्ञानी चरतर दिस इज नॉट प्योर डिवोटी बैट इफ दे आर पायस वन हू गोज टू दी टेम्पल एंड प्रेज टू गॉड फॉर सम मेटीरियल प्रॉफिट दे आर ऑल्सो पायस दे आर नॉट सिंपुल बट दो सिंपुल दे डू नॉट गो इवन टू दी टेम्पल they think what is this temple now who is all earn money ha ah. ah. so our present government is uh, encouraging this method that why should you go to temple and waste your time ah uh, time if you want money then take to industries work hard like an ass and you get money ah uh, that is the policy But Shiva the Bhagavat says, no, 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 this is not good. Uh, to work so hard like dogs and hogs, uh, they especially Shiva the Bhagavat has mentioned the word hog, pig. Nayan diha diu bhajan niloke kastan kaman arhati bir bujang ji. Bir bujang. Big, big means stool, uh, stool bhujang. So one who eats stool, that means the pigs. Uh, so they are working very hard, day and night, to find out where is stool, how to eat, how to eat, how to this, how to sleep. This is it. Uh, but actually, human life is not meant for that purpose. Uh, uh, And to reduce some work, sometimes we think that let me go to the temple. Uh, if God or some demi god becomes very pleased upon me, then quickly I shall get the benefit. That is a mention here. Kankanta karmanang siddhi. This is also mentioned in the Vedas that if you want success in this line. Then what is this demigod? If you want beautiful wife, then what is it, Uma? If you want this, they are, they are all listed. I don't remember just now, but these are recommended. Uh, these are recommended. Therefore, according to Vedic system, if you worship some demigod for some particular purpose, uh, that is recommended. But Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, the antavastu phalam te sam tad bhavati alpamiru. Antavastu phalam te. If you get some profit, material profit, you can get it very easily. That's what he says. Kankanta karmalang siddhi jajanta yadevata thiprang hi manusu loke. That's like uh, um, uh, that is the difference between worshiping Lord Vishnu, the supreme personality of Godhead, and the demi god. Uh, there are many examples. Just like Lord Shiva, one demon, or a devotee of uh, Lord Shiva, but generally. Uh, we find in the shastras just like uh, Ravan. Ravan was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, uh, recognized, but he is accepted as a demon, Rakshas. Uh, although he was a great devotee, Mahishasu, he was also great devotee of Goddess Durga, but it is, it is described as Osuro. Uh, so. According to Shastra, it is said there are divis, two divisions of men, Deva and Asura. Deva means the devotee of the supreme law, Vishnu. Vishnu bhakta bhavet deva, asura stad vikarya. So uh, it is very interesting. Uh, 
by worshiping different demigods, we get immediate result. We meet just like the Basmasu. He was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, and when he was, Lord Shiva was perfectly worshipped, he wanted to give him some benediction, and he asked Lord Shiva that, please give me this benediction that on the head of anyone, if I place my hand, immediately his head will be gone, vanished, vanquished. The Lord Shiva is known as Asutos. Asutos very quickly, uh, very easily he becomes pleased. Uh, that is Lord Shiva's great qualification. And if anyone wants anything, even if he is very obnoxious, he grants. All right. Take it. So Lord Shiva gave him the benediction, and yes, uh, your, I give you this benediction. So then he wanted to taste it. So he said, Sir, let me place my hand upon your head. <laughs> so Lord Shiva was in danger. You see? Uh, then he went to Lord Vishnu, please save me. I, he, this man took benediction from me, and now he wants to place his hand upon my head. So Vishnu Maya is very uh, intricate. So Lord Vishnu saved Lord Shiva and informed the devotee, this is not possible. Why don't you test by touching your own head? Then as soon as he placed his hand in his own head, his head was standing. So uh, here the uh, people want to take immediate some benefit by worshipping different demigods, but he does not know what is the reason. Neither the demigods know. Therefore Krishna says, we'll find in the eighth chapter, that antavattu phalam tesam tad bhavati alva medhasa. Alva medhasa means one whose brain substance is very small. This is very true. Uh, according to brain substance, what is called cerebrum or something, the technical. Uh, uh? Yes. Uh, I was a student of psychology. Our professor, Dr. Arthur, said that uh, the brain, the biggest brain is, by practical psychology, it has been tested 64 rounds. And uh, that is the highest brain substance. But for Oman, uh, it is never had more than 36 hours. Uh, so they have tested all these practical psychologies. So here the same word is used. Uh, that alpha made has. Uh, it is very technical. Alpha means very little brain substance. Those who have got very little brain substance, they try like this. Kankanta karmanang siddhi jajante yadu. Why little brain substance is getting profit from the demigods? Uh, brain substance little means he does not know what is his actual aim of life. He does not know. Nati vidu sārta gatim ni Vishnu. Those who are trying to be happy within this material world, worshipping different types of demigods and taking benefit uh, very soon. But he, because his brain substance is very little, he does not consider it that how long I shall enjoy it. How long I shall enjoy it. Uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Abrahma Bhavana Lokan Punaravartina Vajna. Even if you by activities, pious activities or worshipping different demigods, you go to the Brahma Loka, where the standard of life is very, very great. Life is also duration of life is very, very great. So that is not permanent. 
But our problem is that we are permanent, eternal, and we are trying to be happy in the non-permanent condition of life. This is called less brain. My problem is that I am the spirit soul. Ah, nitya sāsata. I am eternal. Sāsata. Nahannate hannamāne sarire. I do not die, even after the annihilation of this body. Then where is my eternal body? This question should be raised by the human form of life, athāta brahma jīgāsā. But instead of athāta jīvasya tattva jīgāsā, jīvasya the only business is how, what is the aim of life, how I shall be eternally happy, how I shall get my eternal life. That is the problem. But they do not consider the real problem. They think immediately I require some money, so let me worship Lord Shiva or Lord Goddess Dukha or Ganesh or Surya. There are so many recommended. So, uh, that is condemned in the term Bhagavad Gita uh, that tad bhavati al antavattu phalam tesam tad bhavati al uh, But people are, uh, they do not care. Uh, they, of course, those who are worshipping demigods, apart from that there are many atheists, they don't care for anything. They want simply uh, sense and uh, That, uh, it is said, that you can get uh, some immediate profit by worshipping different demigods, uh, that is all right. But uh, that is not your permanent benefit. Uh, because karmana, you are creating karmana and siddhi, you are getting some profit by your karma, fruity karma, but you are creating another life, another life which to enjoy. Uh, the fruitive result of this karma, you'll have to wait uh, for next life. Uh, so next life means another material body. So another material body means another table of suffering, another chapter of suffering. That they do not understand. That what is of their advising, that this is not good. Don't be engaged in karma, fruitive activity. If you en be engaged in creative activities, karma, then you will have to accept another material body. That may be a cat's body or dog's body or demigod's body or body you will have to. But as soon as you have a material body, then you will suffer. The one who does not understand this philosophy, he is called alpamedasam, poor kind of knowledge. Core fund of life. Real problem is, as Krishna says, Jarma Mittu Jarabhya Didu Khudu Shana Jarabhya. That I am implicated with this process of repetition of birth and death. And after birth there is suffering, old age, disease. He does not consider it. He thinks this is natural. No, it is unnatural. Uh, one who does not understand this is also made as a poor, poor partner. Please try to understand what is Krishna. Uh, then the result will be that after giving us this body, no more material body. Dakta de hung punar jarmanai. No more punar. That is required. Uh, but they do not understand it. They want quick result for some sense gratification, but implicate himself in the tangle, uh, entanglement of getting again birth and death uh, uh, that is going on. So Krishna consciousness movement is the most beneficial welfare activities to the human society because uh, by uh, awakening them to Krishna consciousness, they are saved from this danger of repetition of birth and death. Thank you very much.